when the power is increasingly centralized, you know, control becomes a big issue and it stops being about economic freedom to an extent and about how can we use our power to further certain policy agendas. It's detrimental. And I think the too big to fail model over time has obviously proven to not be good really for anyone except the people at the top of the too big to fail system. And you have people like Edward Dowd, for example, saying in recent interviews that by 2025, there'll probably only be six banks. It's very hard not to see it, at least in this current iteration, as being intentional. This definitely seems to be an effort over time to consolidate control over the financial services and banking industry, because ultimately, whoever controls uh, money controls the world. So if you can control uh, financial services and banking, uh, and you have your people dominating that industry, you know, the more dominance they wield over that industry, the more control they, they exert, right? Whether it's on politicians or the public at large.